The people who invented the internet had no idea that this would become the basis of society. We've chased them out of the parks, we've chased them out of the malls, we've chased them out of our homes, and so they're falling back on these tools. So when did you realise that you wanted to be a director? I went to work for um, a photographer, uh, and uh, I used to go to work properly Monday to Friday, but on, in the evenings and on the weekends I took my own pictures. And one day she said, you know what, b -band? You keep on taking pictures in series, and then you add these captions. You know that's called film, don't you? And she said, if I was a young woman, I would be a filmmaker. What was it like winning a BAFTA? Oh, so embarrassing. <laughs> I mean, fantastic. <laughs> fantastic, obviously. But it was a really, really awkward moment. I have been grateful for that BAFTA ever since. I text them a lot, tweet each other and we talk on Google Talk a lot. And have you had a boyfriend in real life? Um, no. I change my status to awake, and then I have my shower, come back and then change my status to getting ready, then I might change it to songs that I'm listening to. Why did you make the film? I know a lot of young people. I'm really interested in young people. There was a day when I just realised I had not seen a teenager without a phone in their hand for a very long time. I thought, what does it mean? What does it mean? Did you not find that some of the things in your film some people may have found a bit exposing? Definitely, but I was very, well, I was very, very careful about that. Everybody saw their bit beforehand, yeah? Everybody's parents saw their bits beforehand, and we had quite a lot of uh, both therapeutic conversations and very clear conversations about what it might be like. Uh, but I did think uh, that it was really important that those stories were said by young people. And in fact, I will say that all the kids who appear in the film are still my mates and still fine. And some of them have actually moved on quite a lot in their life as a result of being in the film. The grown-ups gave our children a communications medium and then it turns out it's a world in which your history is archived by a private company on servers that belong to them for commercial purposes that belong to them. It's controlled, it's profit-driven, its value systems are hidden. Out of the companies that didn't want to be filmed, which one did you want to interview the most and why? Uh, Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. I think that they have a huge responsibility in all of this. They don't, they've got huge numbers of young people that don't take care of them. This idea that everything new, new is important, new is important, instead of important is important. You know, one of the things I always say is, can you imagine if Mark Zuckerberg had thought of the interesting button or the important button or the lovely button or the, the we must change the world button? And I really think he should stand up and be counted and he should be interviewed and he should be prepared to yeah. defend himself with his beheading videos next to your maths homework circle. <laughs> um, my question is, what tip would you give to students who are planning to make films themselves? So the first thing I'd say to young people is that substance over style. You have to be sort of brave and sneaky and dedicated and you should only do that if you know in your heart you're prepared to give that to it. It's a very, it's a very funny thing, 30 years, 30 years I've been making films. When people say what is the best thing about being a filmmaker, it's that I don't think I've ever been bored in my life.